Hello, Psych2Goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We are a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of the video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We hope you enjoy this video. Anxiety isn't fun for anyone. We all know what it's like to feel our stomach do flips or panic over things we feel we have no control over. Some of us soak our clothes with sweat before a job interview or a presentation. Others have trouble forming words, leaving them tongue-tied. These are our physical reactions to stress. Here are six signs you might have anxiety and not even know it. 1. Chronic headaches. If you have throbbing head pain that won't stop coming back no matter what you do to treat it, then you may be suffering from an anxiety disorder, or at the very least, chronic stress. Constant headaches and migraines are common for people who suffer from chronic anxiety. According to the American Migraine Foundation, over 50% of those who have migraines also have anxiety. Don't worry, if this sounds like you, there are a number of treatment options available. If over-the-counter pain relief doesn't work for you, you might benefit from anti-anxiety medication or cognitive therapy. 2. Excessive bathroom use. Do you often need to use the bathroom before major exams or large social events? One study in 2011 revealed a strong correlation between a heightened need to urinate and anxiety. Kyle Stoller, MD, states that stress also causes irregularity in our bowel movements. The nervous butterflies in your stomach are actually spasms in your intestinal tract, which can speed up the digestion process and give you diarrhea. Sometimes, those spasms only occur in one area of your system, leaving a blockage in another. This can lead to constipation. 3. Muscle tension. Ever feel sore in your neck or back, or catch yourself clenching your jaw? That body stiffness is most likely a product of stress. Body tension can be so long-lasting that many people actually become used to their problem areas. Don't normalize tension. Pain is your body's way of telling you to de-stress. Loosen your muscles with regular exercise. Activities like jogging, yoga, or even a brisk walk can help to reduce muscle stiffness. Good habits like regular stretching and meditation also work wonders on the body. If you experience more severe muscle tension, you can invest in visiting a licensed masseuse every now and then. 4. Perfectionism There's nothing wrong with striving to do the best that you can, but there is a difference between doing your best and trying to be the best. Although it's useful to pay attention to detail, being perfect is impossible and can bring stress to anyone. If you are someone who needs perfect outcomes, ranging from work projects to planning the perfect relaxation day, you might be doing more harm to yourself than good. Psychologist Sharin Moore links these behaviors to anxiety, which is related to our obsession over control and fear of failure. For more information on similar behavior, check out our video, 13 Things People Don't Realize You Do Because of Your Anxiety. 5. Trust Issues do you often find yourself feeling threatened or intimidated when you meet new people? Do you feel this despite all your other friends liking them? Your perception of events like this may be affected by anxiety. A 2016 study shows that people with anxiety are less able to differentiate between safe and negative situations. One may believe they are simply being smart by keeping their guard up to protect themselves from possible social threats, but this wall stems more from a fear of being vulnerable and forming connections. 6. Nail biting. Biting or picking your nails may seem just like a regular habit. It gives you something to do to keep your mouth and hands busy. Some people don't even realize they are doing it until someone else points it out. But nail biting is not always just a habit. For many, it is a reaction to stress and anxiety. People often bite their nails in an attempt to relieve tension. There are other common tics and habits that people hold onto as well, such as hair or eyebrow pulling itching a specific area of the body, and foot tapping, just to name a few. Do you experience any of these signs? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, you can receive our PSI pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. 
Your funding will help us produce quality script writing, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best, and only the best. Thanks for watching.